Aphidiophobes and hoplophobes, you better turn away now, but for everybody else, hello there, it is Scott, and we are playing through Snaker. That's not me doing a bit, there are three S's in the title. And this is available on iOS and Android. I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. And it is a mixture of a classic game and modern gameplay mechanics. But does this spiritual successor to Snake have legs? Well, we'll just have to play and see. I promise I won't overuse the sibilance for the rest of the video. So as immortal as the Nokia is, so is the game Snake which came on it. And I'm sure we've all played a version of it in some iteration within our lives. And much like that original, we are controlling a snake on the screen right now as it gets progressively bigger. But in this instance, the bigger it gets, the more powerful it gets because each segment is a turret and I'm going to pick up one here and another one there and each one of these turrets is primed to attack the hordes of enemies that are advancing on the screen in this roguelite bullet storm game. There are many other games like this that I'm sure we've played before, Archero being the flagship and the archetype for it, but most recently We've got Tomb Raider Reloaded and Mighty Doom, both of which I've covered on this channel as well, so feel free to check out the gameplay there. But in this instance, there is a unique take on it because the snake can use its body to its advantage. Unlike previous snake games, when you touched your tail, you would unfortunately perish. Here, it is encouraged, and my point of reference for this would be Pokemon Rangers on the Nintendo DS or even Sonic Frontiers. If you can complete a circle with your own body, you can cause maximum damage to any enemy that's inside. So if I... Oh, we've just gained victory over here. Let's gain a new ability. So I'll just show you this ability right now. Let's cause an ice pillar. Ice body spawns ice pillars on hit. Yes, please. We're on a fire level right now. So let's get it cool in here. But as I say, if we can draw an circle with our tail there we go maximum damage we just caused a firestorm within that so if we can be an Ouroboros we can cause maximum damage and that is definitely a unique tactic within this game because we can either choose to employ maximum damage but to do that we have to get in close and we are subject to receive a lot of damage as you can see just above the head of our little snake right now. I'm on 116 health. That health bar is down very down. That's because I was getting close. Oh, I got hit again in order to try and show you the circle. But if you keep your distance, you may be able to get your hits in and progress further. Let's get this three star freeze pillar. Yes, please. And the aim of the game, much like any of these other games, is to get as far as you can with your current build. Gain your upgrades along the way and just hoping for the best. But if you fail, not to worry because... Oh, let's pick up this new turret, thank you. Avoiding the spike trap as well. Because you can just start again and take all of the coins you've collected along the way and upgrade your snake and eventually you'll be able to go back into the fray better than before and hopefully beating your score. So we are hanging on for dear life here. We're only a fifth of the way through this stage. I've got a feeling it may end very soon unless we can pick up some health along the way. Let's hope we can. But if we do happen to fall, no worries. We'll just take our legless lizard back to the main screen and I'll be able to show you what the upgrading system looks like. But I am curious to see how far we can get just hanging on to this shred of life we've got now. Oh, a new segment there. Perfect. Monst more monsters incoming. We are getting overrun. But if we just snake backwards and forwards, no pun intended, and just avoid the head getting damaged because the body is impervious, but the head... Ugh. That was the hit. So I'm going to let this go down to zero. This is free to play. So of course there are adverts you can watch in order to extend the gameplay, in order to get new currencies. Oh, we've leveled up, perfect. But I'm going to show you now, since we've got this opportunity, what it's like to upgrade. So let us upgrade this brave cannon. We've got one token and we've got plenty of coins, so we'll definitely upgrade that. Got some more attack points there, that's beautiful. Let's upgrade the courage tail. And some more HP. What's it say there? Ooh, 16 HP was gained. And the Flaming Heart. An extra 3% to the attack. Beautiful. We're up to 67 attack now. 
Can we upgrade our abilities? Just on the bottom right, as you see here. Let's click on this plus icon. Recovery with 10 plus. Beautiful. And because we just got up to level 6, we might be able to get all the way up here if we've got enough coins. Five more to attack. 20 for... Ah, we don't have enough coins for the hit points. Not to worry, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into the fray. Oh, this chest. He wants our attention. And we've gained three of these heart scrolls. Beautiful. To upgrade the amulets. Grand. Let's jump back in. See how far we can get. So yes, as I say, you may have played games like this before. And if you have, it is very much same, same, same. But there are some unique things to it. More of a cartoony art style. Getting to control this snake is definitely something. Because let's go with ice again. I li I'm liking the ice. I want to cool things down. Having the drawing the circle mechanic definitely adds a different type of gameplay to this because you have to mix it up a little bit rather than just running in and gunning. You want to try and employ the best you can. Of course, it is always a little bit difficult when you start enough like this because look how tiny it is, a tiny little snake. I'm not sure what the baby snake is called. Uh, uh, a snakelet? There we go. We've got two segments of our body on ice right now. And I'm just going to keep on playing through this and see how far I get. But my friends, thank you so much for joining me as we progress through here. Let me know what you think. Is this a game that you'd like to play for yourself? Or have you seen this kind of gameplay mechanic done one too many times? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all. And catch you next time. Okay, let's slither to victory.